Welcome back guys to Earth Science Week 20. Today we are making a visual of the layers of the geosphere. Our guide um, graciously gives us options here. You can use clay or play-doh, you can use a styrofoam ball. Um, I've done various things like this and last time I believe it was, or maybe six years ago, um, made a visual with paper, um, which I really like or prefer just because it allows us to talk about the layers of the atmosphere, which the others don't as much. So what um, what we are going to do is ultimately gonna turn out like this, give the earth and voila, the core mantle and crust inside. Ta -da! So each child will be given a black piece of construction paper, a earth, and an uncolored circular thing that will go in the middle, okay? Another piece of paper. We'll use crayons and glue sticks to, um, to do this craft slash science experiment. So first thing we wanna do, obviously, are review the layers of the geosphere or the parts of the geosphere, core mantle crust, hydrosphere, biosphere, atmosphere. Um, and then today, week 20, we learn for our science, what are the layers of the atmosphere? We have troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere out there. So we're gonna talk a little bit more um, and teach a little bit of that in science today. We know from Psalms 24, one, that the earth is the Lord's, all the fullness thereof are within. And so um, every week, as we learn new nuggets of information, points back to our intelligent designer, um, whose hand is intricately involved in our very survival. Um, the fact that the way our atmosphere is created, the layers that are there, um, that the layer that we live in is the layer, only layer that has really breathable air that we can survive in. And there are other layers that protect us from outer space and from the sun's radiation. And so it's not by mistake that those layers are there and that they're created um, for giving life on earth. It's pretty cool. So, all right, so every child again has earth, every ha child has an uncolored circular paper. First step is you're going to use your crayons to color in core, mantle, and crust. Um, I just used red because it's the hottest. Mantle we know is where our magma dwells. And then crust is where we, it's the earth we stand on. It's the earth under our feet, okay? Step one, everybody colors their core mantle crust. Step two, you're going to fold that in half, okay? For the littles, mamas can help get these pretty equal. You're gonna fold your earth in half. So then you just take your glue stick, glue half of the inner earth to the outside earth like this. So it's like this. And then you're going to put it down in your paper and glue it down like that. So these are glued and then it's glued flat to the paper. So then you get this kind of flip effect where you see the earth and then you can open it up to see the core mantle and crust. So that's half of it there. And now the other part, so what else did we say? We said hydrosphere. Well, show me on the earth where the hydrosphere is. Well, it's all the water. How about biosphere? Where's the biosphere? All the land masses. How about atmosphere? Where's that at? And that is surrounding our earth. So once you have the earth on here, talk about your layers within that we can't see, and then the layers out here um, that we can see um, from this topical image. All right, so then you're gonna take white crayons. You're gonna make four lines surrounding the earth, okay? You've got one, two, three, and four. You wanna leave space out here because this is the exosphere at this very last space here, all right? So, as, so first of all, we just have them draw the lines. Okay, now we're gonna label them, even the littles can do this, with, um, with one letter, like I've done here, okay, to kind of label the different layers of the atmosphere. We're gonna label them, 
Then we're gonna get back and they can add little drawings. Um, I hope to even have some star stickers that we'll put out here in the exosphere um, just to add some, some sparkle to it. But, um, but first of all, just draw the lines and now we're gonna label them, okay? A T for troposphere. Now the troposphere is the atmosphere that we live in. It is the only layer that has breathable air. Um, it is where all of, most of all of our weather patterns come from. So clouds, rain, it's where birds fly, it's where commercial airplanes fly, um, all here in the troposphere. That all is around us. That's really where we live and, and dwell, where animals are, where weather is, the clouds even are all within the troposphere. Then outside of that, you have the stratosphere. So the stratosphere, there are some, I drew a little plane here, I'm not the best artist, um, but my plane's going from the troposphere to the stratosphere because there are some planes that can fly in the stratosphere. And NASA even uses some to, um, to do some measurements and as well as some imaging of stratosphere in the ozone. So stratosphere's main job here too is also that is where our ozone layer is. Now the ozone layer is a layer of ozone, which is a gas, um, that God has put here specifically to protect us from the radiation of the sun. If we did not have the ozone layer, it could fry the earth and mess things up. So God created in the stratosphere the ozone layer. So I have a little S slash OZ, ozone layer. Then you have M for mesosphere. Mesosphere is the coldest um, layer of the atmosphere, and it is where most of the meteorites explode. And so meteorites are space rocks that have um, combusted and exploded. And so I've got little red marks throughout my mesosphere. Um, so think mesosphere, meteors. That's where you see the meteors, um, mostly. Okay. Next is thermosphere, thermo meaning heat. So there actually is more heat because we're getting closer to outer space. Um, there's heat in the thermosphere, but the gas is really, the gas particles are very spread apart. So if we were floating around in the thermosphere, we would actually not feel hot, even though it can have a lot of heat there because the gas particles are so spread out, we wouldn't be surrounded by it. It's pretty interesting. So thermosphere is also where the aurora lights are. So aurora lights are parts of our world, um, not here in South Carolina, but other parts of the world where um, light from the sun um, interacts with gases in the air and creates these beautiful lights. So um, so I just drew some kind of rainbowish colors going on there. Those are my aurora lights. The thermosphere is also where the International Space System is hanging out. And so that's my little satellite thing up here. Um, and that's on the thermosphere. Then we have the exosphere, which is where there, it is our last layer of atmosphere before we get to outer space. So again, we've got our core mantle crust, crust, hydrosphere, atmosphere, or hydrosphere, biosphere, atmosphere, our layers of the atmosphere, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. So have the kids just draw a little picture in each of those layers to help identify why they're important or what makes them unique compared to the other layers and um, give God the glory for his creativity even in our layers of the atmosphere and parts of the geosphere. Pretty cool. Have fun.